What's a ringtail? A ringtail is a downwind sail used by Australian historical skiffs and still carried by the replica 18 footers that race on Sydney Harbour, extending the area of the mainsail. The ringtail came from square rig practice, where in light conditions a ringtail was carried on the mizzen, usually with studding sails or stunsails carried on the square sails. They were carried in the later part of the 19th century on the 24 foot and the 22 footer class, then after the 1890s on the emerging 18 footer class. The 14 footers and the 10 footers also carried them. They only died out in the 18 footers in the 1950s once Bermudan rigs came in, until the revival with historical replicas in the 1990s. The question, what's a ringtail, Fergie, was heard every Saturday at the Sydney Flying Squadron, when at the after-race presentation, the late Graham Ferguson would explain exactly what it was, although there was very rarely anyone present who hadn't heard it all before. It always ended with the statement that the only racing fleet in the world that still carried ringtails was the historical 18-footers of the Sydney Flying Squadron, accompanied by loud cheering for ourselves. Fergie had a lot to do with ringtails. With Robert Tian, Fergie was one of the founders of the Australian Historical Sailing Skiff Association, and when they began to build a replica of the 10-footer class, called Janus, in the early 1990s, they needed to reconstruct how the rig went together. So Fergie built this rigging model to see how it all worked. It includes the main and jib, plus jackyard topsail, and a topsail head spinnaker, with halyard taken to the tuck as a backstay, and three parts to the spinnaker pole pushed out and set like this. Like most extras, ringtails are controlled by three ropes, an up, an out and a back. The ringtail is pulled up by a halyard at the peak of the gaff, then hauled out to the end of the boom, then the inhaul tied to the forward end of the bottom spar is pulled tight to align that spar. Half the sail is behind the main. It can be carried with the wind aft or on the quarter, but any more forward than that and there's a point at which the airflow switches from flowing aft to forward across the sail to forward to aft and the flow on the lee side of the main disrupts the ringtail and causes more drag than lift. A ringtail definitely adds speed downwind. Of these two boats, Tangaluma, without the ringtail, is generally faster upwind, but Britannia can catch them downwind with the ringtail set. Ringtails can be difficult if not set properly, and can often be particularly difficult to bring down. The original type of ringtail had a spar at the top angled roughly to the angle of the gaff, but about 1930 somebody invented one with a triangular head which is easier to set. This is the shape that most of the replica fleet carry. Only Britannia carries an old style ring tail on first and second rig, but has a triangular headed one for third rig in fresher conditions. And they're regularly carried in up to 20 knots or so. What's a ring tail? It's part of our heritage and a great deal of fun. Here we go. For more information on ringtails and historical skiffs rigging, go to the Open Boat book or www.openboat.com.au.